Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly model these stairs. Okay, so first let's create a project and uh, go to elevations and then uh, we're going to create another level. So uh, I counted that's 13 stairs here, so I guess that's another 13, so which means um, 13 times maybe 180 each and times 2 so level 2 will be 4680 we're just typing 4680 and I'll just create another one by copy this level 1 to level 2 so we have 3 level now Okay, so now let's create, go to floor plan, ground floor, and uh, create a floor. And uh, so from this image, I get roughly, um, I guess that's a 6 meter radius. Okay, so I'll just do a 6 meter radius. Sorry, 6 meter diameter, so which is 3 meter radius. And finish it. So go to 3D view, select this one, Control C, and go click along to select, select level, select one and two. Okay, so we have three level now. So I'll just edit boundary of this one, delete radius of the ground floor. We don't have, we don't need that the hole. Okay, so now go to ground floor. Uh, actually, I'm going to set this. Uh, on the lay and make it uh, just look up so we can see where the the hole the up floor the hole in the up floor is okay so now let's go to the stairs so go stairs uh, so this one center and a spiral and uh, I'll, I'll choose uh, maybe doesn't really matter. I'll just uh, choose this one. So roughly, I'll place it start from here, and uh, okay, that's a radius down like that. So we can we can move the stairs anyway. So I'll start it from roughly here. Okay, so go. So the first one we need 13. So so if you look at here, so here's some number here. So I'll just move it to create 13. Okay, so that's the first one, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to rotate this to uh, rotate. You just need to SM, select the middle point, SM, and go to the horizontal. So now this is the first part, and then the second part again. So pick the SC, so pick this cent uh, center point of this arc SC and then let's continue um, I guess it's roughly here okay so go up and it's finished so click on this one so it says uh, 1450 and then click this one typing 1450 as well so now it's a circle and also to adjust this so let's have a look so maybe this quite close maybe i'll change it to one four zero and uh, one four double zero so yeah roughly and then if you look at here so it's not um we need to rotate this as well but uh, uh if you if if you look at this it's we only have 25 if to make it 26, we just come to here, family top, so here, to the top in 26, and then click on this one and drag it, so we will have one more. Okay, so now see 180, so that's what we uh, made, and also we need to rotate this, this one, so, and SM, pick the middle point, and then pick the horizontal, this direction, so now, I think that's 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 it, and then finish it. Okay, so now let's have a look in 3D. Yeah, of course we need to move it. Let's just go back to ground floor, and uh, um, 
I'll move the whole, make sure you pick the whole stairs, not not uh, the land or not just part of that. So pick the whole stairs and move this down to, oh, where's edge? Oh, yeah, so you can use, so if, if you have issue, um, have problem, pick the edge, just use shift, press your shift key. Yep, yeah, so that's it. So now we have this uh, uh, stairs from ground level to first level. So if you're happy with it, select this stairs, select level, and pick the upper level. So now we will have another one. So, and then looks like we need a landing here. So select tab, select, select this, edit stairs. <coughs> then landing so let me see if we can pick no we can't use this we can't pick another step so use ske sketch so go to ground floor again so with a sketch pick pick the edge line so we need what we need is this one this one this one and uh, i guess this one and the trim okay so finish okay let's have a look in 3d views um, we probably don't need this we can just delete it delete and probably not this one so yep and finish it so yeah roughly right but uh, look at this is not right this uh, rating so well, we just tab select this rating um, edit path or oh, actually before before we edit this tab select oh sorry tab select this way in control C you can't hmm, interesting tab ah, doesn't matter so I'll just uh, um, I'll just edit path I'll just we probably need to do another one so the first one will be delete the middle part, so only the uh, external. Yeah, all well, good. Maybe not this one. So I'll delete this one as well. So now from here to here, all well, good. And then I'll just need to create a new one. So CS, uh, probably not CS. We, we need to use this instead of sketch path. Place on and pick this. So now we have a new one. So this one, if we tab select this one, so another hole. So uh, see, we just need to edit path. So this time, delete, delete external and finish it. So looks like um, this is not right. Just edit path, have a look. Maybe let's try, click on this, this one and okay. Yep, that's it. So for this one is all good. Yeah, top one we need to do it again. So maybe it's it's a good idea to finish one and then uh, make it multiple. Otherwise, you will need to do it uh, multiple times. So I'll just uh, maybe do this. I'll delete this one and I'll get rid of this top one and then. I'll do it again. I'll just add this another level. See if it works. No, not a rating. But uh, let's let me try Control C. Paste in same place. Uh, interesting. When you yeah, paste place paste in same place, let's just go the yeah, to both uh, stairs. You delete it. So that's another one. Uh, the original one still there. So uh, what I'll do is delete everything, I'll, and then I'll paste the same place to automatically go to the same uh, stairs. Okay. So yeah, and we just need to do maybe a uh, rating. So what? Let's just go sketch this time. Sketch set work plan. I'll pick level one and pick this 
uh, tab and then select the whole uh, the circle. I don't want to up upgrade, so thanks. And then I'll just uh, trim and delete these two and finish it. All right. All right, that's okay. Pick new holes, pick this floor, and the control C, paste it in the same place, and pick new host. It goes up to the top. So now we can just finish this edit path, just pick this line to finish it. Oh, it won't let me do it. That's fine, I'll cancel it. I'll instead, I'll just edit this path, pick this line, okay. And uh, for this for this one looks okay, all good. And this one, that's it. So, and also, of course, um, that's too, the gap is too big. So edit type, um, baluster, maybe I'll make it 120 maybe. And I'll also change this to round, 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 and then round, and okay. And also for the top rail, I'll just go here and change this to to a circle one. So these are all the default um, family types you can select in your Revit project. So that's it. Looks okay. So that's something we probably. Um, I'm not sure. It's probably easier to just try to tap select this. Uh, top rail and then you can edit rail so somehow uh, you can you can edit path maybe and then you can just do it manually so yeah lovely like that um, so that's 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 it uh, very quick um, model oh this will go up as well okay maybe maybe uh, trying to Uh, no, I don't know. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, if you have any question, let me know. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.